What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to the Rift Breaker. We are playing through the campaign on Brutal Difficulty, and since last episode I added a couple more solar panels. I got that research queued up, we still don't have alien research done, but we've got another attack coming. Now this is going to be an opportunity for us to see these rocket launchers in action here. Um, what do we have here? That's an artillery tower. Shoots explosive shells at long distances, very effective against groups. Can shoot farther than its viewing range. Requires a tower ammunition ammunition factory to operate. All right, so we've got a tower ammunition factory. See the rocket tower it shoots explosive rockets. The enemies best use against groups of enemies or creatures that are vulnerable to area damage. So we still want to mix it up a little bit. I think I'm just going to go with another rocket uh, right here. Uh, we've got, what, several rocket towers down here now. We're in pretty good shape. So anxious to see what these bads have to offer. we still got three more minutes, of course, to wait until uh, our alien research is completed. And um, I'm assuming these things out here will probably get wrecked. We're going to have to watch that. Uh, I'm still not sure if I want to bother defending this geothermal. It does cost a lot to build every time, but it's only been destroyed once. So I haven't really been out anything uh, by not messing with it. So um, let's see what we got. Well, we got what? We got nine seconds for this attack that is imminent. So let's uh, go ahead and wait it out for this thing as it should be coming here in no time. And they are coming from right up here. Now it's saying we've got 40 more seconds. So uh, let's see. Let's just kind of wait it out. We'll collect up a little biomass while we're chilling here. Uh, we got our punchy gloves ready to go. I haven't made any more weapons yet. Got to get some research in. And here we go with the bads. Now, did I ever research the grenade? I can't remember if I did, but the grenade is pretty darn useful. It is a super, super helpful thing. Uh, no doubt about it. Let's uh, just smack these fools down. Now, I am super anxious to see what better versions of these punchy gloves look like you know if you get the tier two or the tier three or whatever varieties i am very very curious to see what these bad boys look like let's get some of these range mobs burned down uh we can the melee mobs are a little bit easier uh but the range mobs they they can get built up and have just a ton of them there now we see uh what our geothermal is getting hit over there let's clear these guys out and then go over. All of the attacks are really two-prong attacks. They're almost always going to attack from more than one direction. And um, let's see what we have got over here. Uh, actually, that's not the geothermal. That was uh, one of my ironium mines. Um, and it looks like that's it. We have got that attack squared away. Now we're a minute away from uh, completing our alien research, and that will move us along to the next objective here in the campaign but let's see what that is going to bring us now we got lots of carbonium and goods laying around here we're actually full up we got no more storage um i don't really want to put more storage buildings down i want to get to a point where i can upgrade my storage uh and what is that point let's see what is it going to take for upgraded storage? Hmm. Here we go. Solid material storage. So it's all the way down here. We can go ahead and just add that right now. It's going to be pretty low on the queue priority list. What do we got here? Rift magnetic stabilizer. Necessary to open the long range portal in the rift station. The stabilizer negates their irregularities in the electromagnetic field with the use of the nuclear anti-gravity mode. Very nice. Gas energy. Uh, we got resource synthesizers. Hmm, I didn't even know these were a thing. Carbonium and ironium synthesizers, so you can create your own. That's fairly interesting. But we've got 50 more seconds to wait on this alien research. And where are we going to want to go with it? Well, you know, there's some cool stuff in the alien research tree, there's no doubt. Uh, there's some cool weapons, there's some cool towers. Uh, looking forward to getting that built up. But we've got to research it before we can get to that point. Yeah, see, I've got so many storage units down here right now. I just don't want to put more. I mean, I always could. 
but geez, I've got what? One, two, three, five. I've got 20 storage units down now. I don't feel like... I feel like upgrading them is the way to go. Uh, same thing with the power here. Um, I feel like upgrading is going to be uh, uh, a lot better than just spamming more of it down, which is a little different than in the survival mode. The survival mode, uh, you you know, obviously you just spam the living crap out of the power, and then you upgrade it when you finally can get to it. Uh, I feel like this campaign is going to be a lot longer, and it might be better off just to uh, just to hold off and then wait while you get the upgrades. Now, technology has been developed. I would love. We've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. All right, requires clean water to operate. We got sludge right up here. It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. I'm wondering if I could bring that through anywhere here. Wondering if, like, maybe I could bring it right through here and perhaps wouldn't get uh, hit very heavily? I'm not sure. Let's see how big it is. Let's see. Here it is here. It's actually not enormous. I could put it right over here. I'm not sure if that's going to get just hammered constantly, which there's probably a good chance of it. I could put it right here and it would actually be in range. I think it would be in range of my rockets. Let's see, so we want, uh, we're going to need to process this water, so we need to get that down, but then we're also going to need what? Fantastic. We're going to need a water filtering plant, of the liquid pump, and then the pipeline. So let's see, if we put the water filtering plant, say right here, while searching for anorex crystals. We could throw a pump out here and then a pipe. I've never seen anything like that. And then we're gonna want another pipe coming down. a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. I think this might get it. They only work in conjunction with the Unusually large creature. Oh man. All right. Well, we better get out there and check that out. And I am glad that we got paired together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, hmm. I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement, and I still got the sample. I think we're good. Large creature roaming the nearby area. Now, is this actually well, coming like up? No, it wasn't actually going in. Go to its location and so there we go. We got it now. It should. Uh, it should be pumping the goo here now yeah there it goes it looks like it's operating yeah I can see uh, the pipe filled with sludge there so let's just let that go let's get out here and check out this a big Betty so what do we got going over here too is this um, node depleted it looks like one of them is we're just gonna leave that sitting for the time being uh, let's get out here and check out this uh, super bad because we indeed do have a super bad out here. We should be right up around this corner here. Where are you at? Oh, man. Are we going to be able to just wreck it? Oh, yeah. We're going to wreck it. The punchy gloves for the win, man. God, I'm still just super convinced that those things are kind of broken OP. Just crazy, crazy how good they are. I mean, you still take massive damage from a lot of stuff, but, jeez, they are so wildly effective at getting the job done here. So, uh, that was it. We got that squared away quickly. Now, what else did we just unlock? Did we unlock the ability to upgrade? Oh, we did! So, I can now upgrade my uh, wind turbines and my solar uh, it's going to cost me 80 Carbonium to upgrade each one, but I kind of feel like that's a no-brainer. I mean, we want the juice flowing, you know? And uh, then we're going to be able to get to a point where we can upgrade our storage as well, and then we'll be holding even more of it. So let's get Distance all of these up. Build more storage facilities. Alien research laboratory construction finished. We have to supply it with clean water. To keep it operational. All right, so I think we're good. 
by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to Is it all functioning out here? It appears that it is. Connect the output from the water filtering This stuff is going to get so wrecked, right? Using pipes. Let me just Finally, do this. The alien research lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting. We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. The thing. Actually, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. Minimizing damage to the local ecosystem is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. All right, so we got that blocked. Nothing can get through here. This, at least, they'll have to get through a wall before they can smash up my uh, my little little storage area here. Okay, so the planetary geo mapping procedure orbital scanner G is finished. One of Galatea's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been scorched by intense radiation oh, man. and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. Nice. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. All right, awesome. So, the second interesting area oh. is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. All right, so we want to get our equipment up before we venture out. Now, um, let's see. Did I ever upgrade my armory? It looks like I did not. Did I research upgrading my armory? That is the question. Let's see here. Where do we go with it? Okay, it's in the queue, so I just haven't made it to it. It's, it has 37 minutes. Um, crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. So uh, tons and tons of research to be had there, there's no doubt. But we're looking pretty solid. Everything is coming along. We got our... Um, our solar and our wind upgraded now. Our wind turbines are down. Wind turbines down, it doesn't even matter. We're still capped out. So we're at the point now where it's time for more storage. And that is a research node that I have to unlock still. So where is that going to be? That's way down here, I think, isn't it? Or no, it's right here, energy storage. Let's go ahead and add that to the queue. That's going to give us even more storage. And, you know, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here real soon now i do want to focus on my mech uh mr riggs here we want to get dialed in which means i'm gonna want to research some well i i still got an upgrade slot that's empty uh, i'm gonna re want to research some better weapons i'm gonna want to get a higher tiered armory in uh if we took a look at the weapons here let's see we went with the punchy gloves the, the advanced power fist uh, would be the next step. Of course, we're going to have to upgrade our armory before we can do that. 
and then it looks like we have to upgrade the sword as well just to get along the path of that. Now, additionally, I want to start working on, um, you know, the burst rifle, the high caliber rifle. The plasma gun is just super cool. Uh, energy cells for the mech. Uh, I definitely want to get into energy weapons, but that's going to require my armory. So we've got a lot of research to do here. And uh, that really is next on the agenda. So I think we are going to wait it out here, get a little bit more of our research done. We'll collect some more resources and then we will continue on in the very next episode. So that will do it for now. Thank you all an absolute ton for watching. And I will see you soon with some more Rift Breaker. Take it easy.